your sense of community when you're free rolling through the mountains rolling through the valley rolling through paradise with me Hi, everyone. Welcome to a special episode of Small Talk. I have a guest here today, and she's going to talk about uh, an event and um, how that event all came about. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, and you want to tell people your name? Yes, uh, my name is Adila Shokat, and I work as a volunteer with the Streams Foundation Canada in Chilliwack. So we are basically Chilliwack-based uh, community organization uh, who wants to give back to the community. So why? Why do you like? What's your reason for for getting involved and for wanting to give back? Uh, so, as you can see, we are immigrants. We are not, um, not from my accent. It's very easy. Yeah. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So um, we immigrated in twenty thirteen to Canada, and when we first came, um, our experience was that the community was very welcoming, and okay. whatever struggles we went through, the government, the community, there are so many associations that were there to help us in settling in the new country. And as somebody put it once in front of me, and I can still see that um, being an immigrant is having a uprooted tree to yeah. be replanted. Right. So now you need much more effort than starting from a seed. Mm. So in so all that helped helped us to establish our roots. Right. And when we moved um, to Chilliwack in 2019, we found a very good group of friends with um, Zishan and his wife, Gold, and Omar, Fazia, And now recently we have Farhan and Mashal as well in right. our group. So uh, we were all very, um, uh, with, with all us are like with very similar experience mm -hmm. where right. we have been helped at different stages while we were settling in. And we realized that there is all, there is a need in the community which where they need help because, mm -hmm. and now we were in a position that we can get back and we can do good for other people right. and mm -hmm. having much better calm and like more meaningful life. So that's the main reason okay. and that's the main drive behind it that we want to give back to the community. Right. It's interesting to me because as somebody born in this country, I have no idea what it's like coming to another country, whatever the reasons are, different language, different culture, different food. I mean, it must be overwhelming. Oh, yes, it is. Like, um, I did had a little bit of uh, experience because I lived in UK for five years. Right. So that, um, so that was a little bit of experience where I knew, but to be honest, like the first year we started, I was not able to understand the English people speak because <laughs> yeah. with a yeah. very strong accent. And the persons we were together, like um, I did my PhD from UK in evolutionary biology. So my supervisor um, talked very fast. So it took me three months to understand what he was right. actually saying. Otherwise I was guessing. So I can see like how hard it is. And at yeah. that time you need as much help as possible, not economically, but a lot of more emotional support. And right. Um, it's not always like if you're moving to a new country, you have families or friends. Right, yeah. Yeah. So you may have moved because you have the ability and you want to progress and you want better resources in your right. life. But at the same time, you need a lot of emotional help that only comes from a people that are around you right you know it's kind of interesting again like if for me like moving from one province to another as a child I grew up in a small little town we were almost like backwards compared to the so we moved from New Brunswick to Montreal oh. we we had a strong accent we dressed differently and people didn't get us kids our age just like couldn't understand what we were saying yes. or they would tease us whatever because we didn't look the same yeah. right I hope that doesn't happen Yes, no, no, people were very welcome. Like, right. um, especially in Canadian culture, I have seen that everybody gets the point that everybody came to this land. Yeah, exactly. So it always go back to the people thinking, okay, even if we are not the ones who moved, someone in our family has moved right. and made that effort. So everybody is very accommodating. Uh, there yeah. are like it's more struggles on your side but like I had a, I have to be honest personally I had a very positive experience that's good yeah. and yes yeah. and in the especially in the start of a couple of years like my youngest one was born here when we moved oh okay so I needed a lot of help at that time with the, a lot of like um, I had two young ones 14 months apart so oh. I needed a buggy <laughs> that can have keep both of them in right and we were not in a spot to buy one at that point mm. so all these community organizations came in and pitched in mm. and helped us to 
get established and start a new life. That is really wonderful. Now let's talk about there's that the event that's coming up on December 18th. Yes. Right? Yes. So what is that event? So uh, as you know and other people know that what we always promote on our web page and everything is like we want equality, inclusion, diversity in organization. Mm-hmm. So based on these principles, we have done a multicultural event rather than call it, it a Christmas event. Right. It's a multicultural like event. That. Yes, yes. So, it, and the idea is like, you come and you have food together, but you bring your own culture and backgrounds in. So, and if you look at our team, like it, there are different pages and groups that you can see on our um, website at www.streamsfoundationcanada. So if you go and visit, you can see like there are a big picture of us who are a lot of like more than 50 volunteers and everybody has different background, ethnicity, different struggle mm-hmm. in their life. So we are trying to get everybody in the community, get involved and then sit together and have fun. Yes. So like, um, like uh, for us, like there was no option of a family event when we moved in. Even now, like it's just us. Right. Yeah. But it's the friend circle. It's the whole community that comes at together and sit together and enjoy a festive season. So right. Yeah. So, so what kind of foods will be served? Oh yes, we are uh, serving some Indian. It's the food is coming from Pabla Curry House. Okay. Yeah. Yes, one of our donors as well, and um, it will be um butter chicken with rice mm-hmm. and some sweet dish. So, are they all like so hot, uh, hot, spicy? Oh no, we try to <laughs> keep it my life. Yeah, we try our best. Yeah. I don't do spicy. Food. No, the, 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 the <laughs> special instruction every time we ask um, them to make that. This is a multicultural event, so we right. get all ethnicities, and we don't want very spicy food. But yes, it's it's going to be more flavorful. Because <laughs> <laughs> I went to one of the events again. It was at the Evergreen Hall, right? Uh-huh. And uh, I didn't know the food, so I'm just trying different things, and it's like one of them is like. Oh, I can't eat that one thing just because I'm not used to I didn't grow up with spicy food oh yes no it's very understandable like people don't but the the spice is usually from low to mild side right, not right. like high like we we ourselves don't eat very spicy food right like, we, we have been acclimatized to the environment <laughs> and our kids and everything so no we don't so yeah it's kind of interesting because my, my son was working for a year in, in Indonesia and I and I went with my sister to visit him and and you know enjoying some of the food and he said mom you're missing half of the food because you don't eat spicy foods oh yes yes a lot of green chilies in there yeah yeah Yeah. so it's really but it's really good now i heard and i just saw a post this morning about this event that they're going to be uh santa or something about gifts surprises or something oh yes yes there will be a raffle um you know yes there's a raffle like every person who walks in gets a raffle ticket as well Mm -hmm. and we would have um, a setup desk for um checking out the list who have booked but because we used event right this time right. to book the um, tickets yeah. uh, lovely um, uh, Jade has helped us to oh do she that. has eh? okay. yes, she has helped us that so we will be checking off the guests because it's um, due to insurance reasons we have to have a limited guest we cannot be open to everybody else I'm so, going by the way <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome you won't tell <laughs> that's yeah. awesome yeah that's awesome so we will be on the desk and we will be checking out our uh, invitees in there and then um that time they will get the raffle tickets mm-hmm. uh, it's also attached to a little survey as well we are um, that's another stream of our organization where we do research and publication as well so um, this is something new we have introduced okay. and the reason uh, we want to do this is so we can get a feedback from the community where they actually need help right because we see and we observe but at the same point like we want the actual feedback coming from that so there's a small survey that we will be sending to our um, people as well and Mm -hmm. then if you haven't done it you can do it on the desk as well so you do the survey as well as well as you get the raffle ticket and um around uh, just before we start the food uh we will be doing some raffle and there are plenty of baskets and one of our donors have donated a queen mattress topper so get out right nice yeah yeah very good well i expect that it uh, should be rooked in my favor <laughs> fixed in my favor because I'm doing this so yeah. I should get a prize yes it seems so, only fair yeah so for now <laughs> besides that mattress topper we do have confirmed seven uh, baskets mm-hmm. and I think there are some from the um, different car wash there's a car wash as well with one of our donors and um, you may get a month or six months of free car wash as well I don't cry. Oh. oh, I can give it to my daughters. No problem. Yes. I'm just, I'm just playing with you a little bit. Okay. You know, I, yes. I like to play, I like to kid and, and joke a little bit. Yes. Um, um, so, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just wondering now how many people 
will will be able to attend. Uh, at this point, we can confirm uh, that uh, between three hundred and three fifty. Oh, that's a yes. big number. Yes. Wow. So that so you still have spots at this point, right? What yes, we, we are sold out. We were sold out in third wow. first thirty hours. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> yes. So it's the reserve tickets, or like we are uh, repeatedly asking people if they have booked earlier, but now they feel that they have different plans or something came up. Please right. cancel your ticket because we have yeah. more than fifty people on our wait list. On the waiting list. Well. That that is really tremendous, and that is yeah. really nice. So I'm looking forward to it to see. You know, again, if that food is a little bit different from what the other event that I attended, you know, or when it was um with um uh, uh, uh kindness chain. Okay. Yeah, I went to one of those events. So this is really good. So what, now I know that, that Zishan had been, in, uh, I think he was the founder of Kindness Change, but now, Chain rather, but now he's moved over and started, He did he start? Uh, we were also part of the Kindness Change. Oh, okay. When we were there, like it was more than 10 families at that time. Wow. But then um, we always promote inclusion and diversity, although yeah. Kindness Change is the same, um, but there were some very fundamental differences and we mm -hmm. have to part ways. So uh, we we were more on the same school of thought where we don't want a faith-based organization. We wanted right. more community-based sure. and um, more open to everybody to be part of it rather than keeping it as a closed organization and everybody other volunteers. So now we are more open. You can see, you will see like a lot of uh, people have helped as the organizers and in charge of stuff, like right. different teams, like decoration team has been done by the Telemec Arts Council. Oh, so, nice. they're, so they're totally responsible and we just, okay, you guys are running the show. Do your thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So these were the, some of the fundamental differences where we wanted, um, they were becoming an issue. So we had to move apart and there's always more need. So why not both of the organization go ahead and work together and build up the community? Yeah, right. Yeah. One of the things I found out, like um, since hearing about th this event and others is that businesses in Chilliwack are very generous with coming forward, yes, right? Yes, yes. If you look over poster, uh, you can see that how many people have helped us. City of Chilliwack has always been a big donor. Um, then we have um, uh, the um, realtors coming up. Then we have BIA donating money. Brand City has donated some money. Nice. So if you look at our poster, you can see all our donors coming in and helping us with the, all those donations. And to be honest, it's like everybody's building up. We are just a connection point. Right. We are getting the money from people. We have people coming to help, giving physical help. And then we are all serving to the community that can come and join. So I really want to add on this is that we have done these events before under KCC as well. So right. kindness chain. So this is a, a kind of event where the people who may not have the ability to go and eat out as a family in a oh. restaurant as a celebration okay. and they have benefited before like right. we have i even had my son's friend come over as a whole family and sit on a table and enjoy it as an outside yeah. dinner activity right so sometimes a life gets tough and especially in yeah. these days of inflation and high interest rates and everything right. so you try to cut off your luxury side of life so this provides a chance to still go out, right. enjoy a dinner and sit together with your friends, meet mm -hmm. new people. And even if you want to enjoy only as a family, like yeah. that's awesome. So Yeah, originally I was supposed to go with my daughter, but uh, she works these weird shifts. So she thinks she'd be tired. So I've asked a friend because I can't do any of these things on my own. I can do this, but I have social anxiety. Oh, so oh. I don't go anything, do anything by myself as much as I would love to. Yeah. Uh, but um, I'm look, really looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. And, um, you know, if I get a chance to say hello, I will do so. Definitely, uh, definitely. So I think we've covered everything. Do you think we have? Uh, yes, yes, we have. It's just that for any, uh, it's about this event, but we are always looking for volunteers. If um, we have other programs, like um, we are working for seniors as well. Yes. So uh, even tonight, we have a small uh, party where we are going to make cards for the Waverly Seniors Village. And we they will be provided with the cards for Christmas. And um, also we are looking for volunteers all the time. So okay. that's a call from us, like anybody, who wants to come and help us with any kind of work that we are doing we are able even if like, you're, you can just give us 20 minutes or half an hour yeah that would be awesome yeah people think when you have to when you sign up to volunteer you have to be committed all the time and that's no. not the way it is no right it's wh whatever your schedule whatever yeah. you can give so just remind everybody again the website yes the website is www.streamsfoundationcanada.ca and we have a facebook page on in the name of streams foundation that is updated 
updated all the time as well as the website. If you want to help anyways, if you want to advertise by being part of our event, that will be an awesome thing. We are happy to advertise for you. You just um, need to contact us and we can go from there. There you go. Yeah. And if you're there, maybe I'll see you. You never know. Okay. Yes. And if you are there and you see me, because I, I tell, tend to be a little shy of public, come over and say hi. I will always respond. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you all again. And um, we're going to be posting this uh, hopefully this evening. So uh, watch for it. And oh, no, not watch for it. You'll see it. But share it. We, we appreciate it if you would share it, right? Yes. Thanks again, everybody. Yes. Take care and peace out. Yes. A sense of community. Till the wax a place to be, a sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Till the wax a place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark, chillawax a place to be, you'll see.